Hey guys, this is Steph at Dusty Crow Designs. Welcome to a, another YouTube video of mine. Um, this is basically an unpackaging and unboxing video. Um, today I hopefully have received my order of the Bodycon figures. Um, if you don't know what these are, so, well you'll soon see hopefully, as long as everything's okay in the package. Um, basically they are drawing figures for artists, designers, Photographers, basically anyone that wants to have a more realistic um, figure to help them, essentially. Um, I used to have one of the traditional wooden artist ones, but to be honest, they're just they're so simplified and they don't do many poses. They're always very awkward. Um, so to be honest, I didn't really use it that much. As you can see, I literally it's still on the packaging hasn't been opened at all um, I literally received it about an hour ago or something like that, probably less actually um, all I've done is ripped off my name and address just so I don't want you all sneaking up on me um, right so we'll get cracking into this I'll apologise about the video as well um, for some reason every time I record my uh, my phone likes to zoom in on things so if I just move that to the side for a sec I promise you I'm not doing anything too exciting, I'm just putting into the outer bag. Very carefully. I would have recorded this from above like usual, but then I thought, well, it's not going to show the figures off the best if I do that. I do need to get a bigger desk though. And I will, eventually. There we go. So that's the outer bag off. Now it's just to get through oh, bubble wrap. So fun, yet so annoying. So I will find the details of where I actually bought these from. Um, I will admit, however, that I did actually find them cheaper about a week after I ordered mine, like half the price cheaper somewhere else, which upset me a bit but I thought eh, I've ordered them now on the way and I can't bother changing that. So. Right, so that's the, I actually got the, the double set so you actually get the man and the woman figures just like that. Whoops. And I ordered the, the grey set. The, the skin tone ones looked okay but just worked for me to be honest. Um, so I did go for the, the grey figures. So I say bodycon, obviously bodycon's the, the male, so this is the packaging just here. So I'm trying to move the camera so you can actually see what, what's going on. There we go. So as you can see it says I've got the grey colour variant. Um, and as you can see from the pictures you can pose them in all different ways. Obviously you can sort of showing you how you can sketch it there, a bit of a move action. And on the back, so yeah, so this is essentially what I'm planning on doing is, the reason, another reason why I got this is because every time I try and work out a pose for a picture, I end up trailing through Pinterest, Google, basically all over the internet trying to find the perfect reference pose. And it, Sometimes you just can't find what you're looking for and if you're trying to take a picture yourself you've got to try and make sure you're standing the right way whilst trying to take the picture and it's just again a pain in the ass. Sorry, pardon my French. Um, so this is essentially what I'm going to be doing where I'll take a picture, um, draw basically over it and then finish it off. Um, I'm going to sort of do mixed media on this so these are going to help me with the Inktober challenge so I'm actually going to my plan is to do the digital sketch, print it off, trace over it on um, mixed media paper and then finish it off in traditional media, so watercolours, inks, etc. So I'm sort of doing it backwards, I know most people sketch in pencil and then take a picture and digitally colour it and line it. I'm actually doing it backwards, but there we go. So just a quick look at the female. So again, so it says body. So this one's body chan. 
Um, I'll admit I don't know any Chinese, so I'm guessing Chan's basically just female for something. Um, apologies to any Chinese viewers. Um, but yeah, China, learning Chinese is on my list of things to do eventually, it's just getting around to it. Um, yeah, so obviously got in the action pose just over gun. Nice cute kawaii pose. And then obviously again showing how you can sketch over it. And again sort of showing on the back. And it does give you a quick overview of what you can get them posing. I didn't look at that one. Ah, so it is different poses on each one. So you've got gentleman sitting, holding gun, not sure what he's doing there, exercises maybe. Leaping in action, holding his true love. And then in this one you've got the, the female samurai. I'm not sure what that one is. I have no idea. Oh, cell phone, I think. Laptop, which is me. <laughs> so, right, so I will start with the female one. Because, to be honest, I was mainly going for this anyway as the female one. It was just that they came as a set, and I thought, well, might as well get them both. So, always stickers and labels to get into. My trusty knife. If you need to use a knife, be safe. If you're under 16, have an adult supervisor. Safety first. Right, so let's get this out. Let's see what's in the back. Let me get everything out so we can see it all. Right, that's everything. So, first off, we have what looks to be a list of what it comes with. Unfortunately, it's all in Chinese, which means I'll just have to guess. So, basically, from what I understand, you get all these hands. So obviously some of them you only get like one hand and such, so you get your basic fists and the rest. Um, ah, so they don't snap off, they actually attach to these like poles as such, so you can keep them somewhere safe, which is good, because I would probably lose a few. Um, and it's just sort of showing how you can attach them onto there as well. And accessories, so I'm guessing that's laptop. We'll have a look anyways, to be honest. Um, sword, ah yeah, yeah, so the laptop actually attaches and you do also get a stand with these so oh, it actually comes with a box oh, it comes with a box, sorry, just noticed that um, so you get a stand with these so if they're doing like a jumping action pose thing you can put them on the stand and have like take a picture whilst they're in midair type thing without your hands getting in the way um, right, so what's this? Ah, right, so this is obviously like a little guidebook on posing, sort of giving you an idea of how to do it, about shapes and things. Again, I wish I could read Chinese. Um, but the pictures look nice. Ah, right, so it's just sort of how someone's used them to make artwork themselves. And this is obviously the different var colour variants. So yeah, so you could get the black ones, but I thought that'd be too difficult to see the details properly. Obviously you've got your skin tone ones there, um, flesh, peach tones, should we say. Don't want to be classed as racist or anything. Um, but yeah, so you've got your peach coloured ones there, pale orange to call it, sorry. Um, and then the grey set, which is what I've got. Um, I don't know if that's just what they've put in the back. I don't think it actually because always just a bit of card with lines on. Right, it's the exciting part. So I'm just taking the top layer of plastic off. Oh, there's something underneath. Ah, this must be ah, the accessories and stuff if I can get off. Oh, come back to them in just a hard second. Oh my god, she's so tiny. So, <laughs> so so much movement available so like the heads obviously don't move that much but you can get so look ah there we go so if you're doing sort of like this oh look at the size of those fingers and hands sorry they're so cute so tiny so you've got full movement in the shoulders and arms pretty much even got like a bit of muscle definition, a lot of muscle definition, but enough to sort of show where to do. Sorry, oh, focus. Um, 
where the arms get fatter and such in general. Oh, and toes. There's toes. So you can sort of like do tiptoes and stuff. You can get, because um, obviously these are basically like anime figures, you can get realistic ones, they're called Body Figma, I believe. And they are actually a lot cheaper than the the uh, the Body Kun set, Body Kun, Body Chan. Um, I looked at them and the man just looked ridiculously muscled, it just really put me off. Um, oh. <laughs> Um, so that's why, and to be honest, I do prefer the anime style, and that's probably the way I'm gonna go, like in my artwork and stuff, especially if we're coming up to Inktober. Right, I'll put that down before I break it. <laughs> so these are the additional hands. Oh, look how tiny the fingers are! You see that? Look how tiny! And my hands are very small. Um, so you've got those hands here, which are obviously for holding things. I just wanna see how easy is to get these off. Oh, I don't want to break them. Ooh. So it's a bit difficult to get them off, which is why I'm going to be terrified getting those ones off. I don't want to snap the fingers off. That would be a bit awful. Um, open hands, sort of closed-ish fist, maybe with like pencils or something. And then not fighting fists as such, I don't know if you can see that properly. I'll try and take one off, there we go. So it's like, it's more like a relaxed fist where you just sort of rest your thumb, sort of like that. Instead of that. So it's just like that. <laughs> so that's, ah, that's one set of hands. And the other set. Ooh, not sure what's happened to that finger there. I think that's messed up a bit. Let me see that. <laughs> so that's like a pointing hand, open hand, sort of. Yeah. So I think one of these it's going to be sort of like you've got to get look at it from different angles to get an idea of what it's doing. So that's like a relaxed pointing finger. That's like yes, let's do this. Two fingers. So yeah. Um, right. So. I think this is for the accessories. I'll probably have to have a look at the um, instructions again. I'm not quite sure why I've got an extra set of keys there. But yeah, I'll probably look at the instructions again. Well, I think you can actually use this for the base. Um, let's have a look. So I'll just open that. Sorry about this video dragging on a bit as well. Um, <laughs> I just want to make sure I do like a proper um, video on all this. Just move that out of the way. I've got my dog like trying to nosy in what I'm doing. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna need the instructions for this. I think. Uh, da -da -da -da, let's have a look. Right. Yes. Yeah, so by the looks of it, you use the top of this box for the base. Ah, right here. So it's sort of showing there how to put things into the box, which is what I will do later. So. Oh my word, stay away. Stay up. Uh. There we go. So that's obviously the main Oh, I don't know now. All right, so that's that's the top bit, which means that must go into there. Yep. And then that into there. And then what, what does that do?
So I'm trying to work out this diagram. I can't work it out. It's probably just me being a bit slow. Um, feel free to comment after this if you realise what it's trying to tell me. Um, from what I understand, you've got basically like two arms there to grab the character. Obviously that's where the crotch sits. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what that one's for. If you read Chinese and you have and you know what this bit here is telling me, I would really appreciate if you could translate that for me. Um, otherwise, I might have to have a look online and just see if it's possible to get a translated version. Because it's almost like it's saying that. Let me take that off. Put these bits. No. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. No, I can't be right. Into the... that doesn't even go in there. What? One hole is not big enough. Anyways, <laughs> we'll leave that bit for now. So, as I was saying, you can put this into that bit there. So, no, sorry, I've just seen that. So that's the top, the box it comes with. Um, I'm not sure what those bits are there. Not entirely sure. I guess it's so you can just use it as a stand throughout the box if you want to. Which means that then you literally just sort of sit your figure on there if you wanted to and then do your heroic pose. Like so. I know that is terrible. <laughs> it's going to take me a while to get used to this. Right, so let's see what other accessories it comes with without destroying everything. So I'll just open this packet up. Right, so we've got a laptop, which I'll take off. A gun. There you go. Um, laptop screen. Pull that together quickly. Hopefully without snapping or anything. Ooh. I really don't want to break it. I really don't want to break it. <laughs> oh my word. Will that even fit? Should do. It's gonna be a very tight fit. Oh, my word. I hate when things like this don't fit straight away because it's like oh, you could make it fit, but then like there's a chance of breaking it. Ooh. I'll try and sort that out in a bit. Um. I'm guessing that's meant to represent like a book or a tablet or I'm not too sure. I don't know. Oh, these things are so small. I've got a pencil there. Maybe like a little tip. Um, I'm guessing this is meant to be like a smartphone. <laughs> yeah, because it's got a camera symbol on the back. And you've got the old traditional sort of flip phones. I think they still show them in like a lot of anime and things. I'll admit I haven't watched any anime in years. Just sort of lost interest for a bit. Again this one feels so delicate and yet they've got it like attached to three bits. Oh. There we go. And then the big sword. 
again we've got this attached to like so many bits and I don't want to break it <sighs> this is one thing I've always hated about using these plastic things there we go So what I'm probably going to do actually is finish this recording in a minute or two. Um, so I've obviously had a look at the um, female body figure, um, body charm. And I'll actually record a separate video for the body cun. Just because I'm not sure how long a video I can put on Facebook, uh, YouTube sorry, at the moment. Um, right, so that's the, the sword. What I will do um, in the next video as well, obviously because I've got majority of this out of the way now um, I will actually include like maybe some style poses and stuff at the end of it okay well thank you guys very much for watching um, I will try and get this laptop sorted um, and I will see you in the next video for the body cun figure bye